Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Now, today, I want to do something really special with this beautiful loin of venison. Just have a look at that. Isn't it a wonderful piece of meat? A small loin. This is off a month jack. This was shot two weeks ago by my main man, Coops. It's been in my game chiller, vat pack for two weeks, and it's in absolute tip-top condition. A wonderful piece of meat. So I want to cook this beautiful loin of venison on the barbecue. Uh, venison notoriously tricky to cook on the barbecue or the grill. Obviously not a lot of fat in the meat. In fact, there's less fat than a skin chicken breast. So that just says it all. But what I'm thinking of doing is taking this off the bone, maybe spit roasting it. But first of all, I think we need to add a stuffing into it to keep it moist from the inside once it's boned and then we will maybe wrap it in bacon and then get it on the grill. Right then, first things first, let's take the bone out so very quickly, just going to skim off those tiny dinky little tenderloins, those fillets, they'll go down the centre. So a bit of a tricky one here. Do we take it off in two pieces, just either side of the backbone, or do we attempt to bone it in one? As you can imagine, like I said, not a lot of fat. The bone is just right under that skin. So be very, very careful. I'm gonna go for all in one. And if we get the odd tear, so be it. It cannot be helped. So I'm just gonna quickly go down the ribs, taking my time, I'm not going to go through that membrane by the backbone just yet because I want to be very, very, very careful with it. So what I'm doing is loosening it off so it's pretty much just, just hanging on. As you can see there, now this is the tricky part. Make sure we're loosened off that end. If we get a split, we get a split. Like I said, there's not a lot there to stop it from splitting. Slowly, slowly catchy monkey. Well, not bad, just got a tiny little split there, but that is looking perfecto. So I'm just gonna trim these flaps up here. Just square it up. And then get these little tenderloins, just place it down the middle. And then I'm just going to knock up a simple stuffing to go in the middle. I'm going to use sausage meat, a fatty sausage meat and some wild mushrooms that should lubricate it from the inside. So for my stuffing then, I've got a selection of dried wild mushrooms. Got some shiitakes here. Get those in as well. And then I'm going to rehydrate these in some boiling hot water. So I think it will be a fantastic combination. We've got that sausage meat base as a stuffing. We'll lubricate it from the inside. These lovely wild mushrooms. Get some onions in there, some salt and pepper, some herbs. Put it down the centre of our loin. We'll roll it, wrap it in bacon, get it on the grill. Or maybe the rotisserie. Hmm... Right, 40 minutes, and they'll be ready to go. For my stuffing then, I've sweated down one onion and a little bit of cold pressed rapeseed oil. I've got a clove of garlic, some really decent sausage meat that goes in. Then I'm going to add 
little bit of salt, not too much because of the sausage meat, and some pepper. Get that in. I'm going to give it a sprinkle of thyme. Now I just want to get some of these wild mushrooms that I have had rehydrating. Get some of them in the mix. Wonderful product. Now you can really get a town with this stuff in, use whatever you like. You could go spicy, oriental, whatever. You know, just go to town. I'm just keeping it quite simple. I suppose British is the word. Mushrooms, sausage meat, and onions. Just gonna give those a quick chop through. Not too fussy. And then you just gotta get your hands in. And that'll make a nice moist stuffing for our venison. Oh yeah, smells amazing. Right, I'm just gonna get that on chill. Okay then, looking at our loin then, the logical way would just be to put a large sausage of stuffing down the middle and then just roll it. But do you know what? I'm gonna try something. I'm just going to cut in there And then I'm going to just butterfly that side out there. And then just open that out like that. I think that gives us a better possibility. And then get some of that lovely mix. Doesn't matter if it comes out at the ends. In. And then I'm going to fold over just like that. So I'm happy with that. Awesome. Just get my streaky bacon then. We just make a nice blanket for it to sit on. So just flatten it out. Just talk amongst yourselves while I do this. Encase it in its piggy duvet. Oh yes, look at that. Just look at that. Tidy it up a bit. Okay, that beautiful thing. Now we just need to get some strings around this bad boy. Now that will go on chill while I fire up the Barbie. Beautiful. Ah, oh, my beloved Two Ross T1. I absolutely love this bit of kit. It's got so many interchangeable parts. It's just awesome. So I've got my tabletop grill. I got my wind deflector windshield on. Now check this out. I'm going to be using the rotisserie. Have a look at that. Hey, right. Let's set this up. We have lift off. How cool is that? Right. We just let it do its thing and check it periodically. I just love this. Awesome. Okay, I think that's done. Time to turn it off. I'm gonna get that off there and rest it. I cannot wait to get into this. Look how awesome that looks. Give it one more spin. 
You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a Monty, baby, right round, round, round. Okay then, I've just pinched a bit of stuffing out of it, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So, <laughs> I've got to take all these strings off, man. This is torture, absolute torture. Nice and juicy. Just look at that. Still a touch of pink in there. What does it taste like? Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. So juicy. Just have a look at this. If I can just show you how moist that is I think it could have done with being taken off about five minutes earlier a bit more pink but apart from that man it rocks one more stuffing's awesome as well well my friends what can we say about that absolutely awesome what a great way to prepare venison and using that fantastic two Ross T1 grill and rotisserie, it's just simplicity itself, a great bit of kit. I absolutely love that. Okay then, if you've liked what you've seen here today on the Scott Reed Project, please click subscribe when my face comes up down here. Go on guys and girls, click it, you know you want to. I release a video every week, you don't want to miss it. Also, find me on my social media, on Facebook, Scott Ree. Get on the page, click follow, and also the Scott Reed Project on Facebook. Also on my Twitter, at the Scott Reed Project. Please like this, my friends, and share it on all your forums. This is a thing of beauty. An absolute thing of beauty. Also, if you're feeling generous, do please check out my Patreon page. So until next time, honestly, I'm just going to have one more slice, and that's it. Take care, my friends. All the best. Epic, epic, epic. Bite one more. Wow, look at it. It's a dirty job. Mm. <laughs>